This is the video for the DFW CV for mill and takeoff. Okay, DFW is a multi crew aircraft, so we press Ctrl C to go to the only other position, which is the rear gunner. You can see our field of fire here. Shift T to go to the iron sight. Now we go back to the cockpit. Alright, so let's have a look at some of the uh, instrumentation in the DFW. You can see down there, the lower left, we have our fuel gauge. Up on the high left here we have the throttle, that's full throttle, and we pull it back for idle. Now moving to the remainder of the instrumentation, we have the speedometer on the left in kilometers per hour, we have the altimeter in meters, and we have the tachometer with a max RPM of 1600. On the right here we have the bomb release lever, I'm not going to show this in action because we're on the ground and I don't want to make this video any shorter. Just a quick external view here, we press N to open the bomb bay doors and we press Ctrl N to close the bomb bay doors. Okay, looking back in the cockpit we see we have one mounted machine gun uh, with a sight on the right side and there's also a sight on the left hand side which I'll show here. Okay, so we'll take off here. Uh, for engine start we just press E to start the engine because we don't have to manage our mixture and we don't have to manage a radiator. Okay, it's got a fire. And now for takeoff, uh, all we have to do is just apply full throttle and let the nose come down by itself and it will lift off at 85 kilometers per hour. Now the reason I say to not bring the nose down yourself is it has a very large elevator and pushing the nose forward will make it touch the ground. You'll find this is one of the easiest aircraft to take off with in rise of flight. And that's the DFW for mill and takeoff procedure.